can't imagine. You can't imagine what my grandmother's life must have been life like because when I've met up with her families overseas, they used to always say that the sisters talked about poor Emma. That was my grandmother. <laughs> She came to Australia. They don't think she would have even known how to boil water when she left Germany <laughs> because she was a she was more of a scholar than than mm -hmm. a, like that and she came out here to Australia when she was a girl of sixteen. Can you imagine that? <laughs> no nobody in Do you know what brought her here? What but, why she came at well, age she, sixteen? She was a a governess for a family, helping a family on the boat. And she was supposedly to go back to Germany again. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, her father had given the man that, of the family some money for her passage home. When she got here, then he, he I suppose the times were tough and he had to use his money and he didn't give her her passage home. Oh. So she had to find some work here, and then she, she, I know she worked. I think she might have worked in a hotel and worked as a nurse and mm. did various things before she met my grandfather. That must have been hard for a sixteen-year-old mm. girl stranded. Eighteen eighty-six. Oh goodness. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, uh, her, uh, well, another sister of hers went to America at sixteen, and her, her great-granddaughters tell me that she was given a Bible and ten, ten pound or ten dollars or whatever and when she left home to go to America. And I don't know if she went across in a similar situation with another family there. Could you let your 16-year-old daughter <laughs> go off over to a country that you don't know anything no. about? <laughs>